big wins for marriage from coast to coast, and not just in the major battleground states. We'll have a rundown of election results, including the states where marriage could be expanding next. Plus, major news is due in the case to overturn Prop 8. We could be looking at marriage resuming in California in as little as two weeks. At the American Foundation for Equal Rights, I'm Matt Baum, and welcome to Marriage News Watch for November 12, 2012. Last week's election marks the start of a very busy few weeks for marriage equality. We'll be getting a major Prop 8 decision from the Supreme Court before the end of the month. Subscribe now at AFER.org and here on YouTube to be the first to know when that news comes. Meanwhile, we've had tremendous victories in all four states with marriage equality on the ballot. In addition, voters in Iowa retained Justice David Wiggins, one of the judges who overturned that state's anti-gay marriage law. And we gained numerous supportive legislators from coast to coast, which gives us new momentum for expanding the freedom to marry. So what comes next? Marriages can start in Maine and Washington on December 6th. In Maryland, they'll start on January 1st. Visit AFER.org slash election2012 for more info about marriage in each state. As we saw in this election, public support for marriage equality continues to rise. We're likely to see major advances in several states over the next few months. The states to watch include Minnesota and Rhode Island, where legislatures picked up numerous supporters of marriage equality. In Colorado, a legislator who blocked civil unions lost his re-election bid and will likely be replaced as speaker by openly gay representative Mark Ferrandino. In Illinois and Delaware, there are bills in the works for 2013. There's a ballot measure in the works in Ohio. Public outreach and education continues in Oregon, and there's a lawsuit underway in Hawaii. And depending on the outcome of a lawsuit in New Jersey, we may see marriage on the ballot or in the legislature where, legislature, where it would need enough votes to overcome Governor Chris Christie's veto. Meanwhile, we're just days away from major news from the Supreme Court of the United States. The court meets on November 20th, two days before Thanksgiving, to consider whether to take cases to overturn the Defense of Marriage Act and Proposition 8. If they decide to take the Prop 8 case, we'll have briefings and oral arguments, and then a decision by the end of June. If they decide not to take the case, we'll most likely get notification on the following Monday, November 26th. Weddings could potentially start as soon as the next day. This is a crucial milestone in the case, and no matter how the court rules, we'll be ready to bring you the news and explain what it means. Subscribe at AFER.org and here on YouTube to stay up to date and informed. At the American Foundation for Equal Rights, I'm Matt Baum. We'll see you next week.